Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I'm going to talk about 10 reasons you missed the money ball. Now you might wonder, hey, if we're talking about the money ball, how come we're watching Brian run a couple eight ball racks? Well, many of the main reasons you missed the money ball have to do with what happens before you actually get to the money ball. And those of you that don't know what the money ball is, an eight ball is the eight ball and nine ball is the nine ball. It's the ball that wins the game for you. So clearly fundamentals has a lot to do with it and fundamentals all are going to fall under item number one. So we could list 15 or 20 fundamentals that cause you to miss a shot, but we're not gonna bother doing that. We're gonna put all of your fundamentals, stance, bridge, stroke, follow through, all under one category. So now we've gotten fundamentals out of the way. Let's look at some other items. One of the most common things that will break down a run goes back to bad planning. Bad planning, what does that mean? It means from the very first shot, you have to be taking the proper shot. If you play balls out of sequence, you play bad patterns, you can often recover, and advanced players do very often, but you need to make it a habit to deal with your problems early, to take care of situations that are gonna be difficult to get to early, if you notice in this rack, I started out by shooting all the way down table, taking care of a ball that was going to be difficult to get to later on, and coming back to play the rest of the table. Now I will work my way back up the table to deal with a couple of shots that are easier to get to now that I dealt with the problems. Staying in your skill set simply means stay with shots that you are capable of. If you didn't have a six foot draw shot in practice, don't try to base your run out on a six foot draw shot now. You take care of that in practice. You're not going to learn it during the match. And stay in the moment. For many players, this would be the difference in them being a 500 Fargo and a 600 Fargo. Staying in the moment means you need to stay focused on what's going on at that table not what's going to happen after the game, not what's happening across the room, not, not what's happening on your phone, but what is happening right there at the table. Another reason players will miss the money ball is sharking. I find that a lot of people don't know what sharking is, and the name can be deceiving. Sharking is an attempt for someone to distract you, someone who is not at the table to distract you in some way whether it is psychologically, physically, whatever the case, someone drops their cue while you're in the middle of shooting or they're talking loud while you're in the middle of shooting or they try to get in your head, that's what the definition of sharking is. The absolute best way to deal with sharking is to call people out on it. Just let them know, I know what you're doing, it's not gonna work on me, even if it will work on you, and you need to give it a rest. And if you need to be rude, be rude because the reason they're doing it is because you have made yourself a target, someone who will put up with it. Then we get to checking out. What is checking out? You're sitting down, your opponent is about to run out and you have psychologically checked out of the game. You can never do this. Some of the greatest players in the world have missed the money ball. All of the greatest players in the world have missed money ball shots. So why would you check yourself mentally out of a game where some guy in a bar in your league night has two balls to run. You need to stay focused and in the game until it's time to wreck. Even people who have never held a pool cue in their hands in their lives have heard expressions such as behind the eight ball. Don't treat the eight ball like it's anything special. It's like every other ball on the table. If you need to practice by shooting racks full of eight balls, then do so. Adrenaline dump. This is the opposite of checking out. You're on the last ball. It is so easy. You're about to win it all, but your body is trembling. You can't control it. Adrenaline dump is a chemical reaction in your body. The only way you can train yourself to get past this phenomenon is to compete and put yourself in these positions as often as possible but the best players in the world have had their hands shaking like leaves while they shoot the money ball to win a big tournament. 
recognize that it's happening, train yourself past it by competing as often as possible.